Hey, Maurice from Maurice West by Hinkley and Chestnut. And it's been about three weeks since I did a video. And so I have so much to tell you because the reason why it took me so long to do the, my next video is because of what has been going on these past three weeks. So this is what's in your hand number seven. And it has just been, it's so powerful once you grasp that you have what it takes to make your dream a reality in your hand, in your surroundings, in your environment. So let me tell you what happened this week. I are this past three weeks. Um, remember the studio I'm putting in my basement, right? Here it is again. Uh, this is the one when I first showed you. Now this is what it looks like now. And so I, I said to myself, wow, it's coming along quicker than I thought. I put it out in the atmosphere. You know, I, I said, I want to be in downstairs by January 1, 2017. Remember that date, by the way, okay? So, it's looking homey. Um, you see that whiteboard? That's a, like a, that's a whiteboard. I was able, a long time ago, when I first got the house, I went to Home Depot. Case in point, Home Depot's the place to go. And I know I don't work for them. Maybe I should tag them so they can give me some money for saying what I'm saying. But I went to Home Depot and just bought random whiteboard material for like 12 bucks. They cut it for me. And this was a spare to what um, I had just laying around. And so that wall that is on is a outside wall, okay? It, so I'm kind of hesitant. You don't want to just drill into a cement wall that's facing outside. You just never know how strong it is. I just want to take that chance, right? So, uh, remember what's in your hand. I have bricks, just random bricks sitting in the drive in the garage. And so what I was able to do was take those bricks and place them gently, neatly up above the wall. Fit perfectly, you see that? So what I did was I drilled a couple holes in the whiteboard and then I attached the bricks to some uh, to the whiteboard using wire that I had laying around. And I was able just to place it up there. Check this out. I know you're not judging my loungewear, okay? Let's just get that out there now. Get your laughs out. This is what I wear and I'm comfortable at home. We all have ugly outfits that we wear at home. So no judgment. But anyways, going, moving on. And now I have a whiteboard hanging up on my wall. And it's not, it hasn't moved and it will not move. So the last thing in the past three weeks that I needed was electric electricity down there. So I had a random outlet right in the corner I'm not a DIY kind of guy. My dad is, though. So my dad stopped by with his tools and took care of that, you know, put the electricity in there. Dad, uh, thank you for your help with this. And now this is what it looks like. All that happened in three weeks. Three weeks. And so now that my dad came by this past Monday to put the electricity in. Now I can officially say, we're gonna have a change of venue. Remember that date I gave you, January 1st, 2017. I can officially say, I was able to get things done by August 15th, 2016. All because I embraced what was in my hand. I'm not done yet with um, getting things in order down here, but it's a start and I made it down here. And so now I'm able to embrace different opportunities that come away that I'll talk to you more about in the next video. Stay encouraged because if I can get to the next step in my dream, I already know that you can too. We'll be talking real soon.